Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make scroll tabs using our Android Studio. So what I have here is a blank project with extends fragment activity. Now if you guys notice, fragment activity belongs to the support library. And the reason I'm using this library is because I wanna ensure that fragments can be used even on devices before Honeycomb came out. because in honeycomb there were fragments and before that there were no official fragments but this library allows you to use them so let's see how to make scroll tab the first thing if you guys remember from the last video step one create three fragments i'll show you guys exactly how to create one of the fragments from there we can replicate the process for creating the other fragments right so in the fragment a extends fragment now here again there is fragment and there is fragment make sure that you extend the android.support.v4.app.fragment because you cannot mix things up you either use fragment from the support library or you use it from the new api from everywhere in your app and then go to layout here right click new say layout resource file i'm going to create the appearance for our fragment underscore a its root layout is going to be a relative layout as you guys notice the layout has been fully initialized if you go to the text tab there's a relative layout so let me just do a simple thing like dragging a big text over here and putting it right in the middle of the screen stretching it all the way I'm going to the text tab and i'll simply say this is fragment a and not only that i'm also gonna give you give this thing a nice color by giving this a background saying hash ffcc00 which happens to be one of my favorite colors and last but not the least a little margin on all four sides by saying 16 dp now let me replicate this and create two other fragments the same way but before that let's go to fragment a and link this layout which we just created with the java class for that i'll use the on create view method and here i'm gonna go down and simply say inflator dot inflate if you guys are not sure about the layout inflator please Go back to my other videos and check out how the layout inflator works because there i have covered this in full detail here it's way too many things to explain so i'm not gonna be doing that completely and this completes the part about linking our appearance so let's go and repeat this two times for creating fragment b and fragment c so at this point i have created three fragments a b and c and have the three layouts now each of them have a very small difference they just have a different background color so now the comes the main part about creating some view pager that is going to switch between A, B and C. In other words, we want to treat fragment A, B and C as pages and swipe between them. For that, I'll go to our activity underscore main dot XML. Here, I'm going to add a view pager by simply saying, now we want to make sure that we use the fully qualified name for anything over here, right? For the layout height, I'm going to make it match parent so that it takes all the available space on the screen. So at this point, my view pager has been fully created with the height and width of match parent. I've given this an ID because in Java code, we are going to get this pager and perform the actual work of switching between the different fragments. And here there's an XML in this Android because obviously this is the root uh, view that we have here on our screen. So let's go back to our main activity and try to get this view pager by saying view pager. Now at this point, everything is done. Now remember, the view pager uses an adapter to move between the different data items. So let's actually construct an adapter. I'm going to say class my adapter. Now this adapter can either extend fragment state pager adapter or fragment pager adapter. Now you guys are probably wondering what is the difference between both. First, let's work with the fragment pager adapter and then we'll discuss what is the difference between both of them and as you guys notice this adapter has certain methods i'm going to press alt enter implement the methods click ok now of all the items this is the one which is pretty important and there's another error here let me go ahead and press alt enter again create a constructor that matches the super so at this point things look great now whenever this view pager wants to display a page it's gonna call get count that tells it exactly how many pages are there in our case it is three over here right and then for each page if you're on the first page or second page at a given position say int zero it is expecting you 
return the fragment at that position it is just like a list view if you guys remember in a list view you used to say adapter dot get the item at zeroth position first position second position and so on here when you get zero one two three you're supposed to return the fragment at that position so we are going to have an if else condition here by saying if i equals equals zero then what you want to return is fragment a so let me actually create a dummy fragment here by saying fragment fragment equals to null so if the position number is zero what i want to return is fragment a so i'm going to say fragment a over here and that's pretty much done let me replicate this for the other two fragments that we have so as you guys notice here in the get item method for the zeroth value of i i return fragment a for one i return b and for two i return c and if nothing works probably it's gonna be a null over here but this case rarely happens so next let's talk about something else there is another method that we need to override if we want to give titles but for now let's just run this but before that let's set the adapter by saying view pager dot set adapter and passing our object over here which is new my adapter there's a fragment manager object that is required by your my adapter so let's get that fragment manager first by saying fragment manager now you want to make sure that it's the android dot support dot v4 dot app fragment manager and then we can say fragment manager is get support fragment manager and simply pass that fragment manager object inside and we are good to go so let's run this now remember every time the view pager wants to display something it's gonna call the get count to get the number of items there and it's also gonna call get item if you guys want to see this in action let me actually put a log dot d statement here for you guys so now I have a log dot d statement here which will be shown when the get item method gets called and same for the get count so let's run this here at the top and try to see what happens so folks there our emulator is running and at this point you don't see the scroll tab at the top but don't worry we will put it shortly but now if you try to swipe here on the screen there you go it says this is fragment b and again if you swipe here it says this is fragment c so let's try to see the log cat so let's see how things work as you guys notice fragment a is first loaded before that our view pager calls get count many times and it also calls get item at position 0 which is our fragment a that is what we return here inside our if else condition and then if you guys notice if i just swipe the tab over here just notice how many times get count is called and then somewhere here get item 2 is called which is nothing but our fragment c now this is a little smart mechanism when you are at fragment c it actually loads fragment b and fragment d if there is one just one before and one after in advance so that it doesn't have to load now again if i go back here from fragment c to fragment b take a look get count is called a lot of times and then i go back here to fragment a again get count is called a lot of times but notice something get item is not getting called and the reason because that is once the fragment object has been constructed here it is not completely destroyed in other words what simply happens is that ui of the fragment is completely destroyed but the fragment object as a java object is retained by your activity and that is why when you switch across these different fragments you don't see the get item being called anymore it was called only in the beginning when it had to display the things for the first time 0 1 and there is 2 over here somewhere so you guys can clearly see how your fragment pager adapter is creating all the fragments just once and it is not calling get item after that so in this video i have shown you guys exactly how to create that swipe view which we wanted in the next video i will add the tab at the top of this swipe view and I will also show you the difference between fragment pager adapter and fragment state pager adapter. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Like and share this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice